the internet itself is uh, a very neutral territory, but there are people who would like it not to be neutral and would like to have some control over what people can do on the net. It's understandable because, because it's a neutral uh, environment, it can be abused, and it is abused. People send spam, people attack, people send malware, in, in addition to all the positive things that go on. And so we have to recognize that, and we have to cope with the abuses, because if people don't feel safe on the net, if they, if, if they don't feel uh, secure, if they don't if feel their privacy is recognized and protected, then they won't want to use the net, and that would be a bad thing. So we have a serious problem to try to protect people's safety, security, and privacy on the net, while at the same time maintaining this openness. And to achieve that objective, we only have three possible mechanisms. One is to use technical means to prevent a bad thing from happening, like filtering out malware and so on. The second thing is to tell people that if you do this bad thing, which we all agree is socially unacceptable, and we catch you, there will be consequences. Now that implies law enforcement, it implies all kinds of international agreements about what's unacceptable. So uh, that's the second way of dealing with the problem. The third one is just to say, don't do that because it's wrong. And that's sort of an ethical position. But what's interesting about that is it sounds weak, but if everyone agrees that this is bad behavior, there's a lot of peer pressure. Uh, it's like gravity, you know, gravity is very weak, but when you get enough mass, it's very powerful. And so social pressure can be a very powerful force.